What's up guys, Aiden here, Azelon Landscaping. How's everybody doing today? Just to recap what you saw in the video so far, it started out with uh, the live stream from Friday night. That was a hit. We're gonna continue doing that and it's gonna be pretty awesome. We have some further content coming up. Um, then you saw me unboxing my Cujo Yardware shoes. I love them so far. I will let you guys know in a few weeks what I think of them. And then we made it to New Jersey. <clears throat> excuse me to my grandparents house and we are here now and I am currently walking to the jewelry store to get my chain cleaned all right guys I'll catch up with you when we get there Alright guys, just got done in the jewelry store. I tried to keep it really discreet. I didn't want to have my camera out that much because I didn't want to look like I'm filming trying to steal stuff. But I got a few shots. I'll air those next. Um, I'm not sure what else we'll get into this weekend, but I'm sure I'll plug some fun stuff. All right, Miss Joanna and Max, I am sorry I didn't get to answer your question in this video. I am still doing research on southern lawns and what is good application to apply to that lawn. So I will let you know in next week's video when I get to further research. All right, guys, this week's lawn question came from New Jersey. Um, and the question was, hey, Aiden, we get quite a bit of crabgrass in our area. What is a helpful and easy product to use to prevent it. And I'm going to recommend you to Scott's Turf Builder with Halt's Crabgrass Preventer. It's only $18. And this is what you want to look at. In your area, oh, the soil temperatures currently, I don't know if you can see that, are at 36 degrees for today. And they are at 34 degrees for the five average and 34 degrees for the 10 average. So it's a little bit warmer than usual, okay? But when your soil temperatures start to get up into 55, I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below for this website, is when you wanna put down that Scott's Turf Builder. And that's usually gonna be right when the forsythias bloom in the beginning of March. So that's what you're gonna do. Anybody who wants to weigh in on this topic, if they think this is a good product for beginners, leave me a comment down below. Or if you have another question that you want to get answered, I will answer them from Instagram DMs, email, text, live streams, and um, definitely comments on YouTube. So with that, I'm Aiden from Aislinn Landscaping. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.